So today we're going to take a look at the new Ryobi and Hilti caulk guns here and also try to determine if the Ryobi is actually the same as the Rigid here. So we'll run through the tests and then I'm going to tear the Ryobi and the Rigid down because the MSRP of the Ryobi is $60 and the MSRP of this Rigid is actually $130 now. Now between the Ryobi and the Rigid, speed adjustment here on top, pretty much the same here on the Rigid but it goes up to 7. Same style trigger locks here. There's a little bit difference on this side of the housing. Rigid here has the hook on top. That's definitely one drawback here to this Ryobi is there is no hook anymore. On the old style, at least you had something here on the handle. So this is the new Hilti Neuron, just came out. It's a variable speed trigger on this and we have this release button right here. This does also have anti-drip feature. You can see when I release the trigger, the plunger backs off from the cartridge. Full steel plunger on the front here, hanging hook on the side, which is removable, LED light on the front, and the six speed selector here on the back. One thing that is kind of weird, this motor sticks out quite far. It's not actually built into the center housing. We'll see how they perform, and then we'll tear both of these two down and see if they actually are the same inside. So first we're gonna do this on slow. Same thing now on max speed. Now with the Hilti. Hilti on high. Of course here you definitely want the broadest range. So we look at that dispensing speed overall, the Ryobi did pretty poor when it came to high speed but was kind of mid-pack on low speed. Hilti was mid-pack there on high speed. And on low speed, it was about mid-pack as well, a little bit faster. So to test the max force like I did with the other ones, I have this hydraulic cylinder here. So we'll do this on low. Then we'll do the same thing on high. Do the same with the Hilti. And then on high. Now here I had to take that area of the cylinder, times it by the pressure you've seen on the gauge. And the Ryobi, yeah, didn't do very well at all. But for the highest force, compared to the rest that I've tested, yeah, it comes in last. Now on the flip side though, the Hilti actually outperforming the M18 Milwaukee. So we definitely have a new leader here when it comes to that. All right, let's tear these two apart, seeing they're both manufactured by TTI. We'll see if the internals are the same. <laughs> from the top, the gears are the same, triggers, the housing is the same, different switches, definitely different trigger switches there. Switch on the back looks to be the same. Here's where I did have the failure on this one where it fed all the way in past the stop switch. 
circuit boards look to be different. So the drive looks to be the same, but the motors are definitely different there. But overall, they are really quite similar by design. What's interesting is this old caulk gun actually performed better, but you can see the design is, yeah, totally different. I definitely did like the speed adjustment here on the side where you can easily adjust that as you go. You know, I don't think you can beat the price if you're running this platform. Just don't expect to have the highest performance. Normal caulking, I don't see any problem. You know, if you're gonna use something once in a while, sure, this'll do just fine. So yeah, we definitely determined this is not the rigid, less powerful motor, doesn't have a variable speed trigger, and the circuitry is a little bit different inside as well. Plus we don't have that hanging hook on top. On the flip side there, this new Hilti, you can see it produced the highest force there. I'm definitely gonna do some more testing with this Neuron line. We are gonna load test this battery down and just see how it performs and of course tear it down in an upcoming video. I will say one thing I didn't like is I had to order the charger actually from Hilti. Uh, Home Depot didn't have any in stock and it cost me $30 just to, to ship the charger here. But overall, hopefully you uh, found this video useful. Again, I've tested all those other ones in previous videos. I'll leave the links below. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. I'll catch you on the next one.